Hello everyone. A prism is such a fascinating shape. When white light passes through it, it breaks down into seven colors. Isaac Newton was first to obtain spectrum of sunlight using prism. Exactly what happens to light that passes through prism? Let us see. We take a glass prism. It has two triangular bases and three rectangular lateral surfaces. These surfaces are inclined to each other. Here PQR is the outline of the prism and its triangular face is facing us. A ray of light is incident on the surface PQ at point M. Here angle of incidence and angle of refraction are I1 and R1 respectively. What do we see here? The ray of light on refraction bends towards the normal. Now the ray moves into the prism at side PQ and comes out of the opposite side PR at point N. It's called the emergent ray. I2 is called the angle of emergence. If we see at the second surface PR the light ray has entered from glass to air. Hence it has bent away from normal. You know angle between PQ and PR say angle A is known as angle of prism or refracting angle of prism. Remember the angle between the two lateral faces of a prism is called the angle of the prism. Now if we extend the incident ray and the emergent ray then they meet at a point say point O. At this point the angle between the two rays that is incident ray and emergent ray is called angle of deviation which means how much the ray has deviated because of the prism. Now how much the ray will deviate depends on the angle of prism that is angle A. You know the refractive index of the material of prism is given by the formula sine of half of A plus D divided by sine of A by 2. Here A is angle of prism and D is angle of minimum deviation. Here the prism is made of glass so we can easily find the refractive index of the glass if we know the angle of deviation and the angle of prism. We shall learn more about the prism in the next lesson. Bye bye.